guess I just hate dogs. When I look into their eyes, I know exactly what cage they belong in. Oh, money in this bitch, yo, I'm back on the track. The dogs are starting to bark again, I can't have that. Got my own mutt here, wish this cage had no gate, I'll make the pup watch as I wrap my You belong in a zoo, one to lock and key, while people watch you in a cage, fill in my pockets with money. I'll lock up every hound I see till they are all extinct. If my dog was on Titanic, I'd let that much You think you're better than me? Shut your furry mouth. You don't have hands, dog, can't get out. You can't speak, only bark can never rap this song. If you're not a human being, your existence is wrong. Zookeeper's wife playing now got my passes. Cause Jessica Jastain is a talented actress. Yuck. Comment, like, subscribe, now obey my command. A little bit, it's getting the back of my hand. Hey, Cody here from Movie Losers back with another review. My buddy Leo here for his first review. We saw the movie We Built, a, I mean, Zookeeper's Wife. Sorry. I also give a much different movie with a much different tone. Anyway, I'm drinking Mutt Brown. It's an Imperial Ale. Drew and Steve's by Stone Brewery, actually. So it's pretty good. It has a nice little kick to it. Anyway, to the movie. It stars Jessica Chastain. It's about her moving, hiding a bunch of Jewish people in 1939 Poland, Warsaw. Uh, I really liked Jessica Chastain. She's pretty much good in everything I've ever seen her in. And, yeah. um, I mean, Daniel Brühl was the bad guy again. I feel like he's a bad guy in everything, but he was good. He was the, the bad, Nazi. He was the bad guy in Civil War, right? Kept he was, there. yeah. Yeah, he always plays some um, a-hole, like, soldier bad guy. But uh, he was, uh, I mean, he's always been good, too, in all his movies. Uh, Roos Bolton made a cameo appearance, a little supporting role um, from Game of Thrones. He was a good guy, so that was kind of cool to see. I was hoping it was going to be a really good score. And, um, I liked it, though. There was a lot of, like, piano in me who, like, enjoys just listening to piano. Like, yeah, the, yeah. like the softness of it. I, I mean, I liked it. And then you still... Um, Understated, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. And, um... Very kind of muted colors as far as the cinematography went, but a, a well directed and a good looking film, I think, too. What gets me, like, sometimes is just, like, you know, the courage sometimes these families have. Yeah. Like, you wonder, like, if I would have done that. Yeah, different times. And there I was on the ride home bitching about traffic for sitting in traffic for a half hour. <laughs> and uh, people had to go through that. So, yeah, if you, if you wanna, if you're interested in that period um, in time, I think you'll enjoy this film if uh, you know you don't know much about it. I recommend seeing it in general. It was a pretty good film. Um, it's playing at the Kentucky Theater if you're here locally. I don't know how many theaters it's in right now. I don't think it's entirely wide release, but worth seeing. I'll give it a three out of five. Three out of five. Okay. Maybe a four. Yeah, the scoring system kind of is tough sometimes because I don't think it's necessarily a three, but I don't think it's a four, and decimals bother me. So I'm going to round it up to a four because I'm in a good mood. I like it. Yeah, and I have, like, little lion cubs at the beginning, so... Yeah, I mean... A lot of animals. <laughs> yeah, if it, if it featured more animals throughout, I mean, they got bombed all to hell at the beginning, <laughs> so... Uh, they weren't in it throughout, but... Um, yeah, check this movie out. Four to five, official score. And see you next time. Four out of five mutts. Urgh. Boop boop. Boop boop.